Hi, um, this is Elvina, and I have another fun fold card to show you. It's called the Bay Window. So let's take a look and see how this works. Okay, the first sample I want to show you is uh, made with the the little dog and the snowflakes from the Hostess set that was in the fall, the July to December holiday uh, mini catalog. Seasons of fun. Anyway, looks a little bit like our dog, I think. So I colored it with Stampin' Blends, and then I colored a little bit of pool party around the snowflakes. And then um, this is the inside. On the inside, I use paper pumpkin trees. I use um, my greetings are from the um, For Unto Us. It's also in that holiday. And the paper is heartwarming hugs, but I believe that's sold out now. And then the trees, this tree anyway, is from the... Um, Mountaineer. <clears throat> okay, well anyway, so that's a card and it folds flat like this so it can fit into a regular envelope. And then you open it and that's your inside. But this is what you do with it. You hook it right there and you've got a bay window card. It can stand up, set it here on, you know, somebody's mantle or wherever they want to display it. And there you go. So just kind of a fun different card to do. Okay, so that was that was a Christmas one. And then here, you're getting a sneak peek at a brand new stamp set that's going to be in our spring mini, which is uh, January to June. This is the um, Flowering Rain Boots and Stamps, Flowering Rain Boots Stamps and Rain Boot Dyes. It's got a watering can, flowers, tulips. Okay, same idea. Let me just open and show the inside. I made it a birthday card, and again, you just hook it under the edge, and you can stand it right up. And there you go, you've got just a, a fun card. Okay, so let me show you what you need, and then we'll go to making it. Okay, <clears throat> so you need a piece of cardstock, a half a sheet of cardstock, which is going to be 4 and a quarter by 11. You're going to need to score it, which I'll do in just a minute. And then you need a little piece of white for your inside message. So let me set that there, and then you need some designer paper for the edges. So before I get the scoring out, I just want to show you the designer paper, because that's another sneak peek, which is from the Celebration. And this is what it looks like. It's called Simply Marvelous. It will be available in January, February, while supplies last with a $50 order. This is the um, Balmy Blue and Misty Moonlight. Yeah, pretty, pretty. This is the pool party in Coastal Cabana. Ah, another pretty swirl. And this is um, Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. Mm. Basic Gray and Smoky Slate. Mm, nice. And Bumblebee with uh, So Saffron. But I'm going to be using the Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride. So I already have mine cut, so here's a smaller piece that you can see of that. Okay, so now let me bring in my cardstock and my scoring. There, there we go. Okay, whoops. Uh, let's see, I don't think it's going to quite show. Let's see. Get it down here. I've got it. Okay, let me do this. Put this here. So you can see we're scoring it at five and a half, which is the usual fold when you do a 11 by four and a quarter. And then five and a quarter, three and three fourths, one and three fourths, and one fourth. So I'm going to start and move back. So this is five and a half. So at the bigger end, and this is five and a quarter. And this is three and three quarters. And one and three quarters and one fourth. I don't know if you could see that very good, but that's how I had it set up. And if you can see the folds, okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it, and then you will see the fold. So <clears throat> let me get my sorry, don't mean to reach in front of the camera, get my bone folder. Fold this in half and burnish that. And then it's just this little bitty quarter inch one. So that's a little harder to 
when you're when you have folds that are close together it's a little harder to get them folded without messing it up so I'm just being really careful here and now I'll burnish that and then the next one and the next one and this last one that's on the end I'm actually going to fold back this way because it's the part that's going to catch under the item at the edge and I'm not going to burnish that so much I don't that doesn't have to be quite as hard of a fold but that's the one that catches under the edge here okay so kind of the first thing I need to do is tape this down so let me screw that and I could use the Stampin' Seal Plus but our um, tear and tape fits in there really well so I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape in there and I'm putting the tear and tape let's see if you can see this right next to this score line this is the half this is where the card is folded in half and I'm going to put the tear and tape right here because then they're going to be folded over so <clears throat> Let me stick it down here. It will overlap onto the the back fold, which is okay. Let me get that stuck. Tear it. That out of the way. And then let me just press it down good. So if you can see, it's right by that fold line. Okay. And I have my fingernails. Okay. Here, let me go this end and just kind of burnish that a little bit. Then it's easier to pick that up. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this over so it gets folded. And I'm going to score, burnish it really well. Um, front and back because I want that to stick really good and then I'm going to open the card on that fold line and burnish it again just to make sure it sticks down really good because I've had a little trouble with it staying down and it opens as a bay window a lot better if it stays stuck okay that looks pretty good now that's probably the hardest part is just making sure you just score everything and get that stuck down now we just need to decorate the the panels so i'm going to put um, this in the center i have to decide if i want it this way or if i want it this way okay but i'm going to put this one over here this way so let me get my stamp and seal here anyway paper and I'll show you what I'm going to decorate it with and that might help us decide which way to to which way to have the middle be up okay these are cut just a little bit smaller so there's going to be a little border around them so I just want to leave a little edge all around here there we go and then I went ahead and stamped a greeting on the the front panel <clears throat> just because <laughs> sometimes in front of the camera you know you goof right so I did it ahead of time well and I'm also trying to save time because I think most of you know how to stamp I don't necessarily have to show you how to stamp but I want to show you how to assemble this card so I'll make a little border around here to show on this one okay now here are the rain boots. I'm going to put the rain boots in the middle. So what do you think? Should I put them on this way? The flowers probably show up a little better. If I put it this way, there's not as much contrast. Let me turn them up this way. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. I could. Let's be different. Let's live dangerously. Do it differently, and I'll put it on like that. So, put a little tape in the middle. Okay, oops. And then, 
Let's center this so that there's a little border for this one too. And then I'm going to put a piece on the inside too. This one I'm going to um, leave because I've got the pink flowers in there. So I want that to have a lighter background. So not the dark background. So I'm so used to clicking like we did with the old fast fuse. And sometimes I mess up my tape when I do that. Okay, so let me stick this in here. Okay, so now I've got all that. And then my white piece will just go here. But I may wait to stick that in until I decide what kind of a greeting I want to have. I don't know if I'll make this a birthday card or not. Okay, so now what I did, I put some dimensionals on the back of the rain boots. I stamped them in the so saffron, or not so saffron, bumble, bumblebee. And I stamped the flowers in flirty flamingo. And then I die cut them. And so now I'm going to pull the backs of the dimensionals off and throw those away. And then I want to stick these on here. You know what? I need to wait just a minute because I have a wider flower that's going back here. What you have to be careful of, it doesn't matter if these folds overlap, but you can't have anything overlap on this fold or this fold. So let me put these flowers on first and see where they overlap. So I did a few tulips and I put a bunch of dimensionals on the back to hold them in place and just to pop them up. Okay, did I get everything peeled off? Yeah, it looks like I did. Okay. So this, I want to make sure that tulip doesn't extend over that edge of that fold. Okay. But it's okay if it goes over this fold. All right, now I can put my boots on here because I can see where they're going to fit compared to the flowers. Okay, that should be fine. Put them like so, and then I just have some little flowers to put on the front. So let me, a little batch of flowers... Um, peel the backs off here. Okay. There. And then we'll stick these down here. And then, uh, this is probably the second hardest part. I made sure that I just put dimensionals on this half of my image. Because this part I want to catch under here. So now I'm going to peel the back off and then see, well first I'm going to look see where it needs to go so that it looks like it's about um, the you know right depth. Looks like it needs to go right close to the edge. So let me peel these off. The ones are tricky. Sometimes when they won't come up if you press in the middle and that just pops up the edge of the backing. Let's see, did I get that one off? Yep, I did. Okay. So now I'm going to place this. So it's kind of right along the edge here. Ta-da! There we go! How cool is that? Okay, so it starts out like this. Laying down, flat, fits in your envelope. It will be a little bumpy because I've used dimensionals. You wouldn't have to. But if you want anything to overlap, you need to have dimensionals there. And then when you open it, you have your greeting. I'll put my greeting in here when I decide what I want to say. And then, because you know me, I like to stamp first and attach um, last. Okay, and then you put this with it there, and then we can set it up. We can set up like that. How cute. I love these rain boots. This is going to be a fun set. Okay, so let me just hold these measurements up again so that you've got them in case you need to take a little screenshot of this. So you've got the um, dimensions, so you know what you need. Okay, and then I'll show you two other cards I did. Okay, this is... um. Done with the deer punch. 
Deer Builder Punch, and some trees, Tree Punch. And this is actually from a paper pumpkin set. The paper is peaceful prints from the um, celebration. This is the inside, some more paper pumpkin stamps. And, and then that's how that one hooks in. Okay. <clears throat> and then if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you actually use white for your card base, then you don't have to put a white piece on the inside. But I also want you to notice I used some Wink of Stella. See if you can see that on the um, snow. This is my snow. Yeah, okay. So then this one would just sit like so. Huh, isn't that cool? These are just really fun. Fun cards called Bay Window. Thank you for watching. Bye.